Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your photos and videos from your DJI Osmo Action 5 to your computer. I've got a MacBook here, and I'm gonna show you two methods to do this. So the first method you're gonna do, you're gonna need a cable. And this is just a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, but if you've got a Windows computer, you might need a USB to USB-C. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the camera on. This is important, you follow these steps. To the camera on first. Then we're gonna open up this side door here, the little one. And inside there, we will see, you can see on the light here, it's not ideal. You can see in there, that is where your charging port's gonna be. Put your camera into your computer, and then plug it into the camera. And then on the screen, it's going to come up asking me, do you want me to allow, it's on the screen on my computer, allow accessory to connect, to allow. And then here on your um, camera, you want to just click file transfer USB. It's connected now. Put that there a sec. And then it should pop up. Here we go. Osmo action up here. And oh, it's opened up loads of stuff here. But what we want is this here. So it's gonna open up here. You're gonna click, let's go to zoom in a bit so you can see. Let's zoom in. So you wanna click DCIM. And then in here, usually you will see all your files. Now I don't actually have any files on this camera, it doesn't look like. But you'll click DCIM and your files are usually in there. I'm just gonna check on this SD card here. It might be inside this one actually. Yeah, here we go, this is it. DCIM. And then you want to click DJI 01. So a DJI, DJI underscore number, that's a DJI file. Now these here, this is a GoPro file and an Insta360 file. So you want the DJI one. I've just got different file formats on this, on this card already. And then what I do here is I click Kind and sort them. And then you want to scroll down to MP4, and these are all your videos. Now, if you've got photos on here, they'll obviously be on as probably a JPEG or a PNG. But from here, you can click spacebar on these, and you can preview the videos. So let's find another preview. There we go. So go through here and select which videos you want to transfer to your computer. And then what I would do first, organization for me is very key with this, because you don't want to lose all your footage. So I'm going to just create a folder on my desktop and just call it test. And then literally let's open it up. And then we're just gonna drag files in there and drop them in. So that's method number one. The second method is a bit different. So let's just disconnect the camera. Now what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna take the SD card out. So uh, battery side, big door here. Open up, so take the SD card out. Put your little SD card there. I'm going to close this down. I've just got some attached to the back of here. This little thing here is a micro SD card reader that's got a USB-C on the end. I will put a link in the description to the one I use. It's really handy to have. I already have an SD card in there. So I'm going to put my SD card in. A little tiny slot. Another little trick as well. I've put some Velcro on the back of my MacBook so I can store these things on here, which is actually really handy. Um, and then you'll open your computer again. And then if we open our computer up, you should see on the right here, we've got the SD card. And then it's the same procedure again. Open it up, DCIM, DJI 01, sort by kind, find the files you want, and then drag them into the folder that is on your desktop or wherever you want to store them. And that's it, guys. There's two easy methods for you to get the footage off your camera onto your MacBook. Um, below, I've got a cheat sheet that you can download for free. It's got all my favorite settings for this camera. And make sure you check out all the other action camera tutorials on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.